Even if you decide that Boolean searching isn't for you, I would keep field searching in your bag of tricks as it can really focus your search if you need something pretty specific. And it's really easy to use. In a lot of the EBSCO databases, you'll see this drop down option when you're doing a search in the advanced search section. The options are going to vary on the database that you're in. It's really kind of bananas all the ways you can potentially search for things. Don't worry, you don't need to know how to search on all of these. I really just mostly do title or abstract searching. And I do this kind of search if I want something that's really specific on my topic. You can do Boolean here too. Just do a normal search. So in this case, I'm going to search for the concept of moral courage or moral distress. And I'm telling the database to only bring up articles or information where these two phrases occur in the title, nowhere else, just the title. And it found over 460. That's actually a lot more than I thought because this is only searching on title. Generally, title searching will be really specific but this must be a common enough phrase or issue that it brings up a lot of articles. Awesome. And having a successful title search also means that you have the right keywords or phrase to search on. So if you try this a few times and you're not getting anything, just keep trying until you find a word that really does work. All right, so aside from field searching, you can also do something that's called using the search options. And you can find these at the basic search. And these are all of the options that are located below the search box. And the ones that are included in the basic search are different than the ones included under the advanced search. There are a lot more search options located in the advanced search than in the basic search. And this is just how it looks in most EBSCO databases. Just like with the field searching, the search options are going to vary from database to database. These are the ones that are located in the CINAHL database. And if you want your search to be amazing and specific and not overwhelming, really, really consider using these options. My general rule of thumb is that I run my search first, see how many results are out there before I start applying any of these options. But since I'm just doing a demo, we'll go ahead and do it first. Okay, so let's go ahead and run a basic search on smoking cessation in college students. My first concept is the concept of smoking cessation. So I have got smoking cessation, anti-smoking, or anti-smoking with a hyphen. Then my second concept is the idea of colleges or universities. And so I'm searching on college or university or higher education. I've used my quotes and the truncation symbol where I want to search either as a phrase or to search the different variations of words. Anything that you check here is going to make your search more specific. Again, this is just in the CINAHL database. These are going to be different depending on whether you're searching a psychology database or an education database or an art database. These will all vary. The very first option you have is to limit to full text. I would not do that because even though we might not have the full text in this particular database, we may have it somewhere else in the library. So you might over limit your search there. I'm going to go ahead and select English language. Um, the next one down that I sometimes use is the human option. If you're doing any kind of research, especially maybe it's medications or some sort of specific study, you may be coming up against research that is animal based, so rats or mice. And if you don't want those articles to come up, you can limit to human. For the nursing students out there, the next option is really great for making sure the articles you bring up are nursing relevant, where any author is a nurse. Pretty cool. You can also limit to the type of journal where they have looked through the index of journals that are included in this particular database and put them in certain topic buckets, basically. Uh, my favorite is probably alternative and complementary because then you can just search on the journals or information that's going to be specific to that particular topic. If you do speak languages other than English, you can select those languages here. If you want to focus just on men or women in your research, this is a really great option for limiting to age groups. Number of pages is something most people don't need, but if you need it, it's great. You also have different ways to search on images. We're going to come up to the other side. Uh, references available. Don't really care. I will limit to the date, 2010 to 2017. I don't have a particular journal in mind, so I ignore that. I will do peer reviewed because a lot of your professors will specifically ask you to find peer reviewed articles. So that makes it very easy. Most of the stuff you are not going to need right now. You may come back to the evidence based practice or clinical queries as you move on. Those of you in healthcare, first author is a nurse. Just like the any author is a nurse, it can make it much more specific to nursing. 
I want to be really excited about this geographic subset, but I've found it doesn't work very well. A lot of healthcare research especially is based all over the world, and sometimes I want something specific to the United States healthcare system, because we are unique in many ways. But every time I try, it over limits and it misses stuff, so I've just started ignoring it. You can get different types of publications, different populations, and some special interest areas. The PDF full text, just like the full text, I would ignore that because you may be missing stuff that we actually do have access to. So we've got our search up at the top. I'm not limiting that many actually. I'm doing English language, peer reviewed, and I'm limiting by date. And I'll go ahead and search. So 370 almost articles, that's probably more than I'll go through. If you do this search and you find you don't have a lot of articles, you can come over here to the side where it says limiters and you can just click the little X's here to get rid of some of the things that may be making your search too specific. I wanted to make it more specific. I'm going to go ahead and do a field search on title. So I'm going to look for all of these phrases or words only where they appear in the title. Ooh, 86. Okay, much better. Now this is what it looks like in an EBSCO database, and CINAHL in particular. For those of you in healthcare, you may be searching outside of EBSCO databases, especially you're probably going to be searching PubMed. In order to do any of the field searching, you're going to want to go to the advanced search screen. They have a lot of the same ones that EBSCO does. My favorite is actually Title Abstract. They allow you to search both. So this is going to bring up information where my phrases or search terms occur in the title or the abstract. So I'm going to do a different search here. I'm interested in maybe the concept of burnout and compassion fatigue in caregivers of Alzheimer's or dementia patients. So my first concept the idea of burnout or compassion fatigue or stress. Then my second concept is the idea of caregivers and I do have a third concept this time around and that's dementia or Alzheimer's. And I only want burnout, compassion fatigue, or stress where it occurs in the title abstract. Everything else I don't care where it occurs. Okay, so PubMed has all of their search options on the side here, either on the left side or the right side, and some of these are um, repeated. They have article types, so if you have a particular type of article you want to search on, they've got text availability. I tend to ignore that because it doesn't always pull in what we have available here at ISU. PubMed Commons, not something I'd worry about. Publication date, definitely. Usually, especially in health sciences, you want something recent, five to ten years. I'll do five years. So that already knocks it down to 358. We have species here, and you can show additional filters. So I'm just going to bring them all up. For those who are in nursing, if you want to specify that your search only bring up nursing journals, that's nice. They have a good spread of ages, a lot more than CINAHL actually. If you want a particular subject, you can search on that. My favorite one of these is the complementary one. So you can run a search on something like diabetes or depression, search only complementary medicine, and it should bring you all of the complementary and alternative medicine articles on that particular topic. Okay, so how are you feeling after all of this? Are you uh, excited? Overwhelmed? It's okay. This is going to come together as we actually start searching for information over the rest of the semester. Think of what I covered this week like a buffet. Choose what you like and leave the rest. My goal was to present a lot of options and let you decide on how you want to make best use of these techniques and skills.